In this video, we will be going over the following problem. A cylinder with a 6 inch radius is laid on its side and filled to a depth of 9 inches. The cylinder is 8 inches long. What is the volume of the water contained in the cylinder? Since the three-dimensional shape the water forms inside the cylinder is uniform throughout, we can calculate its volume by taking the area of its base and multiplying by its height. In this case, the cylinder is on its side, so the height is this length right here, which the problem tells us is 8 inches, and the base is a shaded surface on the side of the cylinder. Since we know exactly what the height is, essentially what this problem boils down to is finding the area of the base. And so I've redrawn the cylinder from a side-on point of view, and once again, the shaded area is the area we are trying to find. Let's say that the circle's center is approximately here, and if we draw three of the circle's radii, this one, this one, and this one, then notice that our area of interest has been split up into two shapes, the first of which is this triangle on top, and the second is the sector, or portion, of a circle, both of which are shapes that we know to calculate the area of. Now if we label the lengths we know, the problem tells us that the radius of the circle is 6 inches, and that the height of the water, which is this height right here, is 9 inches. And this means that the height of our triangle is 9 minus 6, or 3 inches. These two angles must be 90 degrees, and notice that one of the legs in each of these right triangles that we formed is half the length of the hypotenuse, which is a hint that these two triangles are 30-60-90 triangles. In a 30-60-90 triangle, the angle that is opposite the side that is half the length of the hypotenuse is 30 degrees, which means that this remaining angle must be 60 degrees. And if we use the Pythagorean theorem on each of these right triangles, we get that the length of the remaining side is the square root of 6 squared minus 3 squared, which is the square root of 27, which is 3 root 3. And the same goes for this leg of this triangle as well, since both of these triangles are identical. Now the area of just the triangle is 1 half base times height. The length of the base is 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3, so 6 root 3, and the height is just 3, so 1 half times 6 root 3 times 3, which is 9 root 3. Now we need to find the area of the remaining portion of the base. Now the technical term for this remaining portion is a sector, so I'll refer to it as that from now on. This angle here must be 240 degrees, since this entire angle is 120, and what that means is that the sector must be 240 over 360 or two-thirds of the entire circle. And so the area of the sector is two-thirds pi r squared, where r is equal to six. So two-thirds times pi times six squared, which is 36, which is equal to 24 pi. And if we sum up the area of the triangle and the area of the sector, we get the area of the base, which is nine root three plus 24 pi. Remember that the volume of the water is the area of the base times the height, so 9 root 3 plus 24 pi times the height, which we established was 8 inches, and so the volume of the water is 72 root 3 plus 192 pi inches cubed, and that's all there is to this problem.